sometimes, especially if you're just in the practice room practicing, it's easy, A, not to be 150% focused. You're letting, like your cell phone, texts, messages, and news alerts, and they're all it's distracting you. Stop it. Focus. You, when you, I, I, get, I work with my students sometimes to teach them how to really focus the way I focus when I'm on stage. And at first they're like, oh my gosh, that's exhausting. I can do like five minutes of it and I'm just fried. And then very quickly they're like, wow, this is energizing. To be that focused is like so energizing. So you have to put away anything and you have to be like, it has to be, you know, growing up, I think I was very blessed that my father, he knew that I was never going to put up with some arbitrary amount of time that I was supposed to practice. So he just gave me a goal every day. Accomplish this in however long it takes you. So I learned to be unbelievably efficient in my practicing because I wanted to go play basketball with the neighborhood kids. So I would f solve the problem and I'd be like, God, my dad said, did you solve it? I was like, yeah, didn't you hear it? I'll see you later. And then I'd go start playing basketball. And um, so I learned just to be very efficient in, in problem solving, moving forward, never play just for playing. Like it, it doesn't do, it actually is detrimental to your playing to practice without being 100% focused. Because then when you walk out on stage and suddenly you're like all, it's like it's all on you and you're like, wow, I've never really 100% focused on this and now I haven't built up the ability to do that. And so I'm going to be even more distracted by nerves, the audience, noises, coughing, someone drops the program. I swear to God, I was in the first round of Tchaikovsky competition in Moscow. And uh, during my first piece, the Bach Fifth Suite, one of these huge Klee glides, because it was being uh, filmed for European television and Russian television, it exploded above my head and showered glass down on me. I did not miss one note, not one. Not only that, I didn't even notice it because I was so focused on what I was doing. And then I walked off to get the pianist for the next rest of the hour program. And I was like, what's in my eyelashes? And she goes, don't, don't. She goes, just close your eyes. And she blew on my face. And she goes, don't touch your face. Don't touch anything except for the cello. And then afterwards, she told me what had happened. And she was like, there was glass in your eyelashes. But I didn't want you to touch with your left hand and cut your hand. And, and I didn't even notice it. You know? And, you know, and not only that, but what was the funny thing that happened that was just unbelievable that I didn't even notice? Uh, but anyway, because I was so focused. So what happens is when I, when I practice, I focus that way. So when I'm on stage, it's exactly the same situation. And so there's no being distracted by an audience. It's like, this is what I do. I'm 100% focused on what I'm doing. Perfect. So it's great. One of the easiest ways, like I was saying before, practice in front of full length mirror because it will show you immediately when you're doing something negative and, and possibly uh, destructive or injurious to your health. Um, another thing that is so easy to do, and frankly, I did it a ton when I was a kid, a ton, and I learned so much. I think I learned more from this than even my teachers. Use your phone, use the voice memo, record yourself, and then listen back to it immediately. It's often unbelievably illuminating how different it sounds than you thought it sounded. And also, um, so I did it for two reasons why I would do it. I did it one, I did it in, with Bach a lot to see how my timing was coming across. Was I taking too much time or was I rushing the ends of phrases? I wanted to know how it came across once I wasn't actually doing it. And that was very illuminating and very, very, very helpful. And then the other was, I just want to make sure when I'm playing a ton of notes, are they all in tune? Is there something that I'm consistently missing and not noticing because I'm thinking about something else or I'm focusing on another part? So that was really, really helpful and I highly, highly recommend it. I mean, and it, it's like, it, it, you will learn so much, I, you will n not be at all, like you won't be able to thank me. You can actually make a, a deposit to my bank account if you want, but you don't have to. I just want to give you that great piece of advice because it was just, it, it is unbelievably helpful and you won't believe how much you're going to learn from it. And it's free because you already have a phone.